What's going on everyone? It's Rich Lux in today's video, girl. Oh my gosh, so much freaking drama has went on. I literally took like two days off, girl, okay? I have fallen down the rabbit hole of watching this show called This Is Us. Ugh, talk about the drama. It's made me cry like four times already. It's such a good show. Get Seriously, try to find it. Episode one, season one of This Is Us. If, you, if you're not hooked in by the first episode, it's not for you. And then I started watching Star Trek Discovery, like the new one. The one that plays on that network. I forgot the name of it. It's so freaking and of course, Black Mirror, really good shows. But above all else, girl, I have that damn Pokemon Moon, girl, Ultra Moon, and I just started, and I just fell down a rabbit hole of playing Pokemon. And next thing you know, I'm like, oh girl, it's like four o'clock in the morning, I shoot a video, which I usually shoot videos around three, four in the morning anyway. But I'm so obsessed with Pokemon and all these shows, excuse me. Okay, excuse me. So judge me kindly, okay? But anyways, girl, welcome back to my channel. Love it so much. So Jeffree Star, is in the drama again, girl, no ma'am. Love him so much. No, but seriously, look, there's so much to talk about, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'll lead with what the title says and I'll just put it in the video right now, right? So, Jeffree Star is basically, I guess he kind of threatened to sue this brand called Epsy, which, girl, I freaking saw this video by Kathleen Lights. I know, I know y'all are like, Kathleen Lights still perform. Yes, girl, Kathleen Lights still makes videos. The house, girl, every day she posts them like at 6 o'clock in the morning. Kathleen Lights, girl, is a little engine that could, girl. She's still posting videos, girl. And people are watching and they loving them. So she posted this video called Boxy Charm, right? And now I'm like, girl, I feel like I'm missing out, okay? Like this year, I'm officially going to subscribe to Boxy Charm and do Boxy Charm unboxings. Not sponsored, none of that stuff. I just want to know what the T is in the box. So I'm going to subscribe to that. But, and I actually tried to, like I, I typed in Boxy Charm and you know what came up? Like, and I don't know what I was thinking. Like I clicked the first link that, that popped up and I signed up for it. And I was like, okay, cool. I, I did the whole year thing. And then I got the email and I'm like, Ipsy. Girl, how in the hell did I end up on Ipsy when I was searching for BoxyCharm, girl? Scam the house. So I had to email Ipsy, like, no, 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 girls, can you cancel that? I don't really don't want Ipsy. I was trying to get BoxyCharm. I don't know how I got here in this part of the internet. So we'll see if they refund me, girl. If they don't, then we'll be doing busted ass Ipsy unboxings, girl, along with BoxyCharm unboxings, okay? So it was such a coincidence that I saw Jeffree Star have a little tiff with the brand Ipsy, right? And doesn't Michelle Phan own Ipsy? And where is Michelle Phan? Do you remember, like, the good old days of YouTube where the, where the Michelle Phan videos were just, like, little mini movies of a makeup tutorial, like amazing. I remember one time Michelle Phan did like this galaxy look or outer space futuristic look, right? And she was like floating through space and it was like really high production, like wow. Where are those days, girl? Cause nowadays it's like no lighting and some girl is like, la, la. like girl, okay? Oh God, I'm a little lip gloss, girl. Those days are here. Anyways, so Jeffree Star was all upset about Ipsy Girl because apparently Ipsy is selling fake makeup. I, is it fake? I don't I don't even know. Don't don't quote me, girl, because you know me, I never have information straight, girl. But it looked like a Jeffree Star palette with some black thing in the front of it, right? And if one thing about Jeffree Star Girl, he really takes his palette seriously, okay? Like, you don't, like, it's one thing to say that you don't like this shade, you don't like that shade, but then go ahead and steal the whole damn idea and slap something else on it, girl. Like, no ma'am. And it, was it fake or is it real? Y'all, y'all know the tea. I don't know the tea, girl. I'm just reporting the news. So Jeffree Star was like, in a nutshell, he was like, hold on. I got my receipts, girl. Hold on, I got receipts. Never a dull moment in the makeup world. Bitches wanna act slick and make money off someone else's art. Not today. Now remember, when you read these, these messages by Jeffrey, right? Just picture him, right? Calabas is home, sitting in a pink chair, and there's like pinball music playing in the background, you know? And there's like Nathan feeding him grapes. And he's like, mm. he's like, he's like on his phone. He's like, never, never a dull moment. You know, and he's like, th just picture that, okay? I find it really sad how huge companies let stuff slide, stealing exact ideas and covering the name of my brand with theirs. New low. Then, girl, then he calms down just a little bit and he says, hey, Ipsy, selling counterfeit fake products of mine is disgusting. 
Also, Beauty Killer is a trademark I own. My lawyers will be calling you in the morning. Girl! Michelle Fawn is shaking the house, girl, because it falls back on her. People think Ipsy's its own thing, but girl, didn't Michelle Fawn start Ipsy? And if so, did she sell it? Because if Michelle Fawn made Ipsy and then sold Ipsy, then she's not bothered the house, girl. But at the end of the day, this is this is what so sucks about like business, is that if you have a company and then you sell it to somebody or somebody else and you're done with it and you collect your checks, right? If something happens with that company, it's still kind of people like, still think it involves you. So now people are like throwing Michelle Fawn's name in there. Like literally, if you want views, Jeffree Star sues Michelle Fawn, boom. I mean, technically, right? In a way, if she owns the company, who knows? So anyways, girl, Michelle Fawn, she, you know she's not bothered. I heard she has billions of dollars, girl. She's so bothered the house, girl. Remember I told you, Michelle Fawn has reached the ultimate level of Jaclyn Hill in the sense that you have so much money and you're so bothered that you never post videos, okay? So that's the thing, okay, I'm just saying. So I don't think Jeffree Star will sue um, Ipsy because it's so much drama to sue people, girl. Like literally, it's so much drama and so much work, right? So from what I was told, they took it down. There was an update involved. It's now off the website. So I think everything, re re peace has been restored back to the beauty community and everything is fine. However, speaking of Jaclyn Hill Lover So Match, Jaclyn Hill posted this video, right, called Best of Beauty 2017. Girl, there has been so many freaking videos, oh my gosh, so many videos that people have been posting on YouTube called Best of Beauty 2017. Basically, it's wrapping up, summing everything up from 2017, their best beauty products, right? Which is a really good video to watch. Like, if you really want to know the real tea, watch the Best of Beauty videos because people are going to say, this is the stuff that I've been using all year long, right? And of course, I'm pretty sure there's a few Morphe codes in there. You know, whatever. You know how the game goes, girl. Affiliate links here. Whatever. It's cool, right? I've noticed. This is something just between us, girls. Okay. Girl, I'm so shady. I've noticed that with all the best of beauty videos and on the internet, girl, okay, that hardly anyone is posting loyalty. Seriously, there has not been a what that I have seen a best of beauty 2017 video that includes Laura Lee's palette. Girl, y'all are so shady. Don't come for me. Don't come for me. No, girl. Well, with lit. You talk bad about Laura Lee, therefore I unsubscribe. No, girl, bye, bye, unsubscribe, okay? Not bother the house. I'm just saying, I'm not, girl, oh my God, I can't, I can't control myself. Okay, I'm not saying anything bad about Laura Lee. I'm just saying these videos that I've seen, best of beauty, where is Laura Lee's palette? Did Jaclyn Hill bring it up? Did, 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 did your favorite beauty guru bring up Laura Lee's palette, okay? And if you also watch Best of Beauty 2017, did they bring up any YouTubers' palettes? Let's say that. Or whether they're all big brands. Because, you know, the girls on YouTube, girl, they love to be like, I'm, I'm going to show you what I use. And it's always so expensive makeup. So, this whole video about Best of Beauty, right? A lot of people were throwing shade at Jack. Nothing new, girl. Nothing. You know, Jaclyn Hill can't even walk down the street without somebody wanting to expose that. Girl, look at the way she walks. You see the way ja Jaclyn Hill walks, girl? She used to walk like this. Now she walks like this, girl. She's fake. Expose her. Girl, calm down, girl. Not bother, okay? I hope we don't talk about Jaclyn Hill as much as we did in 2017. 2017 was the year of Jaclyn Hill, girl. Because every other day, Jaclyn, Jaclyn, Jaclyn. I, I even got tired of it, girl. Like, girl. And, she, and the, you know what the royalty is? She didn't even know she was doing anything. She was just being her. Okay, that's the real, she wasn't out there pulling stunts to get in the drama, okay? Like, cause, like there's some people that like no one talks about, like, cause nobody, I don't wanna say nobody cares about because I think people care about everybody, but I'm just gonna say like, as for their drama, like there are some YouTubers who are never in the drama, so people kinda tend to forget them a little bit. We still love them. Like girl, Nicole Cancelio, girl. The, I love her so much, but she's never in the damn drama. So when you talk about her, they're like, who's that? You know what I'm saying? But anyways, I digress, girl. Nicole Concilio. Girl, 2018, girl. They're go there's going to be some drama. Because the other day, Nicole Concilio... I'm rambling now. The other day, Nicole Concilio posted this Snapchat video. 
Good morning, guys. Ooh, this is such a cute filter. Yo, this one is cute too. Snapchat. Okay. Okay. So I was MIA for most of yesterday because I was up till 5 a.m. the night before. It, it, it kind of like, I don't know. I was like, what? She said, hey guys, you know, I've been gone for a few hours, but I'm back now. And I'm like, a few hours? So I was MIA for most of yesterday. I was gone for five days, girl. And people were messaging me, asking me if I was missing. Freaking Nicole Guerrero. Nicole Guerrero went missing for a month. Okay, Nicole Guerrero didn't post a YouTube video for a whole entire month. That's something to be like, hey guys, I'm back. But a few hours. So I was MIA for most of yesterday. Nicole Cancelio, how dare you? How dare you assume that because you don't Snapchat and there's like a gap of a few hours that people are such a... Ring the alarm, Amber alert the house. N N what's that girl's name? Nicole Gonzalo didn't post in a couple hours. <gasps> Where's she? Where's she? Girl, are you serious? No, ma'am. I love you so much, but I don't think nobody was bothered, girl. Nobody was bothered at the house that you didn't freaking post in a few hours, girl. Girl, get over it. Get over yourself at the house, girl. I love you so much, but seriously, bring bring it down back to earth, okay, girl? Okay? It's like, oh, girl, I'm, I'm back. I had to go drop off the kids at school. I'm back. Don't go. No, that was not really. You need to. You need to do that. Okay. Anyways, what was I talking about? Oh, Jaclyn Hill, girl. So Jaclyn Hill posted this video, right? Best of Beauty, and in the video, okay, she was like talking about all this expensive makeup, which nothing new. Like I said, all the girls do it all the time. They talk about the girl. You like these eyelashes? I kind of made them. You see, like a subscriber sent me these lashes, but they're very kind of small. So I had to put two. And then they're all wonky. This doesn't want to cooperate. But you know it's some good drama when this one's all, you know, crazy, the house girl. So people think I have a lazy eye or something. It's not. It's just a damn eyelash girl. I actually have really, uh, there you go, oh, girl. <sighs> so anyways, Jaclyn Hill's fans once again came for her the house and basically attacked her to the point where she had to release a statement, girl. And let me read it to you. Here we go. People are so quick to judge those who they don't personally know. Even if I'm guilty, but let's ease up on the people in 2018. No matter how much money a person has, they still deal with real life just like everyone. Your mental state doesn't change if you own a Chanel bag. That's true. That's something I had to learn the hard way, girl. I thought when I uh, bought my first Chanel bag that I would be a brand new woman and everything around me would change. But I bought the damn Chanel bag and I still felt hungry. So no, nothing changes, girl. If anything, you're just more hungry. So then I went to Chipotle. Mm. Then she says, I really wish that people could see past the materialist bull. Yeah, I've got nice things. I got money. I could buy whatever. What does that mean? Don't forget, subscribe to Rich Lux, thumbs up the video and like it. So girl, the thing is, this is something that like I struggle with and like, I feel like some people can get away with it more than others on YouTube because maybe they just take the hate better than others because I could like I have so much anxiety like I tend to just like cave in like no you know what I'm saying but like okay hear me out so like on YouTube there are like these like rules that people don't like follow but they should follow like one of the rules is you shouldn't talk about how much money you have but people still do it you shouldn't talk about what car you drive because people still do it because it like it insinuates like this like jealousy and hate and it's almost like not even worth it to talk about it but some people do it like some people do it they don't even care okay and that's cool that's totally them but at the same time like i, just, I don't know how to explain it to you there's something about those situations that people just tend to like kind of pick at or that bothers them because not everybody i guess because people would want that and they can't achieve it and i've always said people understand negativity more than they understand success like they understand like failure but they don't understand success because maybe they're not winning yet at life but i mean there was a time when i was like losing 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 constantly losing girl like oh my gosh but there, there comes a point where like it turns around. Like you can't be, like I said, when you're down, there's nowhere to go. There's no way to go but up, okay? And I always just feel like there's, a, I just feel like, I guess it's just me because I always see the positive. And I always see the positive in people. Like even people who I know, like I'll sit there and I'll watch like those shows. Oh girl, 
I'll sit there and I'll watch like those shows where people commit crimes and they go to jail. And I'll sit there and I'm like, but he was a nice person. And then they're, you know, but that, but yeah, he went to jail for like four or five years. Like I just, I guess I've always just seen like the good in people, at least I try to. So anyways, Jaclyn Hill in this video, she was showing off her luxury makeup, girl. And people were just like upset about it. And it's so weird because like, it's one thing to show your car, maybe one thing to show your bag, but for people to get upset over a, $100 Chanel bronzer or or that really expensive Sicily makeup like it's one thing to show that for but people to get upset about that like that was $300 bronzer oh my gosh dislike dislike the house I just don't understand it if Jaclyn Hill wants to show off expensive stuff let her let her because you know what girl if you were Jaclyn Hill you'll be doing the same damn thing so stop okay I really just wish people would stop the luxury bashing right we can call it that or the, the luxury shaming. Like if people wants to spend their money on crap, let them spend their money on crap, okay? Because like I said, if you were that person, you're probably doing the same thing. You don't know what, what she went through to get there. Jaclyn Hill uh, said the other day, like last year in 2018, somewhere girl, see, oh my gosh, that she was on food stamps. And she had this moment where she was trying to be vulnerable with people and saying, I'm on that food stamp somewhere. And people try to expose, well, you were on food stamps, but you had this thousand dollar dog and you bought this. And so it was like so much drama. Okay. You know what? I have seen people at the food stamp office getting food stamps that drive Hummers and BMWs, girl. Not bothered at all. They walk in there and they collect a little food stamp check and jump back in their Beamer or their Hummer and go home. Like, it's uh, it's a sad to say, but that's the reality of the world. And all these people, I'm gonna address the issue because I there was another YouTuber who made a video discussing this and like, seriously, the Poindexters in the comments, y'all are like, I love y'all, but seriously, y'all li literally go a little bit too far. You watch one episode of Ancient Aliens on the History Channel and you think you know everything. You think you got life figured out, girl, off one episode of Ancient Aliens on the History Channel. No, ma'am. Not today, girl. So we got to talk about some other drama, okay? And this one is like, oh, this is so old, okay? Seriously, Tarte Cos... I love Tarte Cosmetics and people... I know people who work at Tarte and they're very lovely people, okay? So I'm not bashing them. But these people, I'm not bashing Tarte either, okay? But Tarte Cosmetics to me is a brand that I, that I hold dear to my heart because cause my favorite thing by Tarte is Tarte Birthday Suit. And, and thank you for the subscribers who have been sending me the lippies of Tarte Birthday Suit. Like, thank you so freaking much. Oh, I'm so like, I am forever indebted. Like, so thankful for it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So Tarte Cosmetics decided to come out with Foundations, okay, okay, cool, that's cool, right? Well, of course, the internet had to get all upset, girl, all upset the house, that Tarte, how dare Tarte Cosmetics come out with lipsticks, wait, concealers, wait, foundations. Yeah, how dare they, how, how? Girl, let them do what they want, okay? Last year, I was all upset and all up in arms about companies not being so inclusive of other, you know, colors. My barking didn't do anything, girl, okay? And neither did yours in the comments. Like, I'm pretty sure they heard us, but they didn't care. Because here we are again, the beginning of 2018, and Tarte Cosmetics comes out with some shades, and people are upset because they didn't come out with over 40, 20 shades of colors or whatever, okay? It's like, literally, you know what? If I had the dollars, and I was gonna come out with some shades, right? Some foundations. I would make sure I had 100 shades of foundation. An excessive amount that had like, you literally, really? 100 shades of foundations? But I would do it just to shut people up, girl. And I would probably lose money and go bankrupt. But guess what? At least I went down with a bang, okay? At least I came out with enough shades that people could be like, well, nah, nah. Girl, no, you ain't, you can't say nothing, okay? I was to make sure the darkest shade is the darkest dark, dark of the world, where people don't, aren't even that dark. Okay, that's the kind of shades I would come out. I would come out with colors, okay? That people aren't even that color. Girl, green, pink. Girl, who in the hell has pink skin? Who has green skin, girl? But I'm so futuristic. I'm thinking about the aliens. They're going to come down into the world. And they're going to be like, I want to buy Tarte Cosmetics. I want to buy Rich Lux Makeup because he has my green color shade. But girl, no. Tarte Cosmetics can't do it. They don't got the coins. And the reality is a lot of companies cannot come out with as many shades as they would want to because it costs a lot of money. And the truth is some colors sell more than others. 
Can we say that? You know, these whites and these pinks, girl, and these blues, they're always on the cheap end for me because no one really buys them. For me, it's a discount the house. So Laura Lee, girl, you know she had to put herself in the mix, girl. Laura Lee put out a message on Twitter and she said this. But the shade range, come on, Tart, this is sad. Girl, out of all the things you could have said, Laura Lee, because you know we're all gonna talk about it, this is what you say. You know what she should have said? Laura Lee, take some PR from the, Take some PR from my fat ass. Okay, here we go. It goes like this. What Laura Lee should have did is go like this. Tart Cosmetics, your shade range. Oh my God. This is why I started Laura Lee Los Angeles because I care about the people and my colors. Like, you know what I'm saying? Include yourself into the girl. Come on, girl, come on, Laura Lee, damn. Well then, other beauty influence started to talk about, you know, the colors and how they just didn't like the shades. Like, of course, James Charles, girl, she had a, you know, hey, Sith Earth, she had to put herself in the mix, girl, and she said she didn't like the colors either, levers to meh. But then, the kicker, girl, this is what blew my mind. Nicole Cancelio, she got in on the drama too, girl. Nicole Cancelio starting drop. Girl, she has an opinion. Oh my god. So here's what she had to say, girl. I have to agree, Laura Lee. Kind of upsetting. I can't even imagine wanting to try a foundation and not having my shade. I really hope they add more. Girl, Nicole Cancelio. I mean, I could, you've made it into the drama world. Congra congratulations, girl. I love you so much. But seriously, you could have been, this was your chance to, to be like, honey, 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 honey. Like really go off, and this is what you do. And it wasn't even a tweet that you did yourself. You just basically backtracked what Laura Lee said, girl. But at least she's trying, girl. Nicole Conselio's trying the house. Love her so much. So I think that's pretty much all the drama I have to talk about today. I'm pretty sure there's more. And I'm pretty sure I missed so much. And I'm pretty sure all my facts are like not even correct. But I love it anyway. So I'll see you in the next video. If you like the video, smash that like button, comment, rate, subscribe. If you don't like the video, send it to your haters so when they watch it, they lost 10 minutes of their life. They'll never get back. All right, see you in the next video. Peace. Bye, I love you so much.